Determine the force in cables AB and AC necessary to support the 12 kilogram traffic light. First thing we need to do is draw a free body diagram. To draw a free body diagram, you need to determine what you're going to draw the free body diagram of. In this case, our point of interest is clearly A. So if this is point A, what are the forces acting at A? In this case, there are three. There would be the force going toward C, the force going toward B, and the force coming down. This force coming down is the weight of the traffic light, not the mass. In general, I tell people that the first thing you want to do if you see a kilogram is change it. So if this is 12 kilograms, it's really 12 times 9.81 or 117.7 pounds or newtons. So we've changed this already to be in units of force instead of mass. To have a complete free body diagram, you also need to have the angles for each of your forces and labels on each of your forces. So if that we call that force B and this force C, this is not drawn to scale, we now have directions and labels on all of our forces. In this case, we know all of the angles, so we can jump right into writing each of our forces in Cartesian form. The vector C is minus 24 over 25th in the I direction, plus 7 25ths in the J direction, time it's, times its magnitude C. The vector B, we're given with an angle, is cosine 12 I plus sine 12 J times its magnitude, whatever it is, and the weight we know is 117.72 in the negative j direction. Once we have our forces in Cartesian form, we can write the equations of equilibrium. Sum the forces in the x direction and set them equal to zero. That looks like adding up all the i's. Minus 24 over 25c plus cosine 12b equals zero. Some of the forces in the y direction looks like adding up all the j's and setting them equal to zero. 7 25ths c plus sine 12 b minus 117.72 equals zero. You can solve these. This is a system of two equations and two unknowns. And then we'll have our values for the two tensions in the cables, a, b, and a, c. Substitute and solve. So, once you've solved your, equation, your first equation for C, you can substitute that back into the sum of the forces in Y to solve for B. Once you have B, plug it back into what you just solved for to get C. Then answer the question, making sure that you're using three significant digits and units. Answer the question that was asked. We made our free body diagram in terms of C and B. The problem actually asked for A, B, and A, C. Answer the question that was asked. Now, does it make sense if your the weight of your craft, your traffic light is almost 120 newtons? Does it make sense that these should both be almost 200? Yes, because the wire is still primarily horizontal. Those numbers are of reasonable magnitude.